Well, it's an erratic moment for the goalkeeper. And an error too, but an error that he's got away with. When you give the ball away as a keeper, it normally leads to a dangerous situation. Okay, we got we got Pee Wee. Just a bad guy away with it. Virginia. Into the attacking third. Okay, let me see if I can get Miss Tina back real quick. Because I want her to hear Miss Tina. Pee Wee, hold on. Let me see if I can get Miss Tina back in here, okay? And then I'm going to bring you in next. I just want you to listen for one second. Um, I want to see if Miss Tina can join the live before I let Pee Wee on. Hello, hello. I'm going to wait till Miss Tina comes in. I want her to join the live first, and then I will let you on, Pee Wee. No, she came in. She's trying to get in the live now. She, she here. No, I, I, my page was always private, but she just couldn't get in here. So I had to uh, let her in to come live with me. So let me see. Okay. Hey, hold on, uh, Pee Wee. Hold on one second. We couldn't hear it. Yeah, I'm trying to see if she come back now. <sighs> okay, hold on. Yes. Yes. We can hear you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't want to be long on here. I just wanted to say that, you know. Yeah, she she came up in here now, and I figured you had a little short message for her too. Yeah, I just wanted to tell her that you know I just wanted to tell her that you know I just wanted to tell her that you know family family always has your back, regardless. You know, no matter what. It's. She shouldn't have never felt like that to begin with, you know? And then for her to say the first time that she said she was leaving, he was okay with it, but the next day he wasn't, it's because it's, it's not. Uh -huh. it's, it wasn't about her, you get what I'm saying? He had some time to think about what it would look like for him. It's, it's never about anybody else. It's always about him. And, you know, we, we know what family is, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I feel like... Exactly. Real family is unconditional love. Unconditional love. And I, I want... Yes. I, I want that... I want her to know that that's love. You know, don't ever confuse that. The love that you have for your daughter, that's love. You know? At the end of the day, I give you props because you went back to her. You know, you, you would never... I can only hope that you would never let your daughter feel that way. You know? No matter what she go through. No matter how you feel about her choices, you know, you, you always should have her back. That's that's all I wanted to tell her. You know, I, I was listening to her tell her story and I felt bad because she, she should know the difference. Yeah. But I'm going I'm to I'm just go ahead and go live with her. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, y'all. I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, we're going to bring Pee Wee on, guys. Bless you. She ain't going to tell you no wrong. That's for dang sure. Hey, bullshit. She ain't going to tell you no wrong, so. You know what I mean? You got to be able to take the, you know, people could. And I, and I want to, because, you know, I posted her um, replays or whatever. About not today, but yesterday, and you know, I can say in the moment I was like agitated. Like, you know, you don't even need your daughter around you if that's how you're feeling. You know, um, because it's scary when somebody don't see the wrong of what people doing. But at the end of the day, I think that you you want to get out of them thoughts, and you don't want to be in them thoughts. You're just trying to figure it out. And Miss Marquez is absolutely right. When you're going through things, family don't distance themselves from you. And it's almost like they push themselves on you to make sure you're good because nobody should have to deal with pain alone. 
frustration alone. Nobody should have to deal with none of that alone. I get giving people their time and their space. You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody need a little bit of time and everybody need a little bit of space to, but to act like uh, he doesn't care if you leave until you actually leave and then come back, you shouldn't even have to go through all of that. He knew that. He, the thing is, he's never had, and I don't know how your family life is or whatever the case may be, but uh, I don't know if you grew up with both parents in the home, but he's never had what a lot of you guys had. You see what I'm saying? He, he hasn't had that same type of life. Like, when he tells his story, it's almost like his life was really bad. And he hasn't, like, really got any help. Ever. He just resorted to shit to make him feel good for the moment. Just like when he prostituted his body. That was for the moment and for money. He's bouncing all over the place. Then, before you know it, he starts up a cult. Everything is for the moment. I think that he really believes in what he's doing. That's the problem. He does believe in what he's doing, but it's not a lot of people right believe what he's doing. They're not, not really. saying he's perfect and unflawed. There's a lot of people that did before and say he was debunked many a times. And then those believers tapped into, like, nah, I ain't messing with him. Have you seen his numbers inc uh, increase or decrease? They was only up there today because everybody know he's in, in jail. <laughs> and like I stated to you earlier, they're not going to uh, pick Eligio up over allegations of no troll page or troll pages for that matter. They have to have something on you. You have to have what done have something. What have to do is wait for the source when he gets out. And y'all see that he's not going to be guilty of anything. So why did they have him in there if he's not guilty of nothing? Well, that's what I'm saying. We don't know. How do you know? You haven't spoken to because, him. Before. Because it's how true. You, know? They, you know how? Because they came to his Airbnb, his place of residence for the moment, and they picked his ass up and put him in cuffs, threw his ass in the back of the goddamn truck and hauled ass. You ain't see that live? It was all over, all over YouTube. They no, don't pick you up over a belief. So do you think they're really going to, they got all of this. Do you know what country he in right now? And do you know what go down in this country? For real. For some troll pages? We'll see. They what? not going for allegations. They going for the facts. They got to. It got to be something on them, right? So where are the facts? Look, it ain't about facts? we'll see. You should see right now. Can we see the facts? Because he's, this has happened before. And he went. He's when been he war. He's been kicking when? countries on some bullshit. I'm talking about Costa Rica. I'm just saying, he's he, this is how he, he, he went to jail in Costa Rica because he ain't do what they told him to do. That's different. Okay, but how this is not the same as Costa Rica. Country? That's the only time he was locked up that we know of is Costa Rica, and this is not the same at all. He got ran out of Belize. He was locked up in Costa Rica. All of them was locked up in Costa Rica, but the women was really locked up because of him. So what I'm saying to you is that is not even the same thing. That's not even the same situation. He put himself in that situation. You get me? You follow me? He put himself in that situation. This situation, they came with the uh, AK-47s. And they put him in actual cuffs. Okay. Nobody went down but him. Okay. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. I'm not, I'm not unaware of that. I get what you're saying. I see, okay. see everything for what it is, but I'm saying we don't even know what the charges are or if there even is any because Carbonation even stated that he's getting out because there's nothing they can... If he was getting out, why they need your money? So I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not exactly. there. Exactly. They, 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 they have to pay to get out, right? People are calling the embassy. People are calling the embassy, harassing the embassy and saying all these things about Chief and then they get kicked out of there getting... Well, don't you think oh, it's you know, involved in this? You know he that people called the, the He's locked up in their jail. Got them kicked out of their own house with children. So what do you uh, mean? Why do they need the money? Obviously, they need the money. They need to eat. They need to live. But I'm not Listen. saying that that's the right thing. They should just solely live off donations. I'm just saying that's why they need the money. Y'all got them kicked out their house. Like, 
No, nah, that he was asking for donations way before that. Don't even don't don't do that. Don't do that. He was asking for donations. Donations when you were still there. Y'all don't kick out. When you was there, he was begging for donations. I'm not saying he should just live off of other people and just take everyone's donations and not. I'm not saying that that should be the way he lives, but I'm I'm saying that that's why they need the money right now, and that's why that they're up there, not because no, they're going to get free. No, that's not why they need the money. He said they need the money for other reasons. You ain't hear that? He's, they trying to get him out. That's what he said. What are you talking about? He said they need they money said, to get him out. Uh, well, I don't know if we were watching the same video, but he said that they were coming out. He was going to get out and that they, there's nothing that they're in communication with Chief. Right this there, man so said we need help getting Chief out. That's why they went live to try to raise donations. What are you talking about? I'm not saying that they didn't. I'm oh saying that God. there's nothing they can convict him for and they're going to let him out. All I'm saying is. For, it, the embassy didn't even come. Know. Shit. The, the embassy didn't come shit. pick up Olegio, okay? The Nicaragua uh, people, the Popo, they came for him. Okay, I understand. If the embassy had anything to do with it, they, he probably would have been deported and sent on his way. He's locked up down there. Out. If something's going on that they ain't telling you. Something going on the thing telling you which is dead ass wrong and because that's fine. No, listen, I'm not because I'm not involved in like it to that extent. Because I think it's gonna be great. For people you ain't involved with that. No, 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 no. It's, it, what I'm trying to say is you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Let's just backwind. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know what's going on. We will see what happens. All I'm saying is he's not a pedophile and he's not a bad person. Is all I'm saying, and I do believe he's innocent, but I don't know. But I also don't know what he's convicted. Of, but I know damn well I know who he is. Like he's not. What could he possibly be convicted for? What the fuck has he done? All right. He he talking about some little girls in a sexual way. Like shoot, I'll just get his little girl my phone. That would be, do you laugh at that and think that was a joke? Because you keep going back saying he ain't a pedophile. But if a person's mentally thinking that shouldn't even come up, let me tell you something. That day, all these women was trying to jump on live with this man. He even was disrespectful to the one woman. I forgot her name, but she breastfeeds. She has beautiful children. He was so rude and so disrespectful to this woman. And she literally breastfeeds. And she literally knows what to give a child. Okay? And he did not want to hear nothing. But then you get on live when Velvet comes back, and her and Portia is sitting there, you want to say, they saying all the milk that people were saying, give her, and you said just jack off and give her some cum. That's not a joke. And not only that, prior to all of this, you said the things about your son. So now you're putting all this stuff together. How can a, if a joke, if it was a joke, which it should have never been a joke, why couldn't it have been one joke? Why, why are you saying all this pedophile stuff? Why? Can you answer that for your cheek? Seriously, why? Why would you think somebody keep talking about little kids in that type of way? He said he didn't even want to put no clothes on in front of nobody's kid. He said he wasn't going to change who he is for no damn body. I know, I've, been around, I've been around long enough. I know. And you will overlook that. That's why I keep saying you can't defend that. How am I defending that? Because you'll go back like, well, he meant to say it this way. He didn't mean to say it that way. No person should speak just, any type of pedophilia towards a child, period. Okay, that's fine. I'll that's just period. Okay. This is to the world. You got to remember. Okay, period. This is to the world. I can't really be on here all day with y'all. Like, We're we not going to be on here all day. Can we move forward? Like, We've already been through this. I don't understand this. Y'all talk about okay, higher self. Okay, okay let, let, let me say this then. Y'all talk about higher self. How can... I see the anger coming out of you right now. I see it all in your eyes. You can't hide it. Your eyes do not lie. The eyes do not lie. Okay. What do you... So, let me tell you something. A lot of anger, you keep getting agitated because you don't want to believe in your head or your mind that this man is... Who we say he is, who he say he is. And nobody sees it but the people on the outside. But the people on the inside, they can't see nothing. You want to know why? Because he brainwashed you guys. 
And you still trying to figure it out, even back in America. You still trying to figure it out. Okay. You can't. You can't stand. You can't stand for that bull crap. I already said what I said. Yeah. I said I don't have it all figured out. I already said in the last live. I still may need to process shit. I still may need to think. You know. But at the end of the day, I will never say he's a bad person. I could never agree with that. I can never agree to hate on carbonation. Like I see what they're doing. I see Chief is. So okay, let me ask you this question. Truth, and you I was there for seven months, right? Let's just go past that because you don't want to talk about that. You were there for I'll seven talk months. About it. I don't have anything I don't want to okay, talk about. Okay, we'll come back to that. I need to get to something else since we can't get past that. So if you was there for seven months, I wanna know how you didn't you know, uh, uh, witness um any black eyes or anything in that nature with other members of the uh, uh one way and a lot of other people not just one person a lot of other people said the same thing and he's also admitted to putting his hands on velvet and making her nose bleed and everything so what what, what, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about a man physically hitting a woman that you looked at like a sister? And not only that, I'm sure she, he was hit, hit, yeah, he did hit her while she was pregnant, as a matter of fact. I think so that how, is how not do you okay. Feel about that? Did you That's see her? Really okay. You could be honest, because he already admitted that he hit her. Did So it was a black eye at a point in time. He kept her distant from y'all. I don't know. I don't remember her. She never had like a fucking full black eye. Like, I don't remember that. But she had a mark on her face. Yes. One time. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate you telling me that. Because, hey, at the end of the day, he admitted to it. So thank you for being real. Because, like I said, if one seen it, some more people have seen something. And especially if he admitted to it on live. You got the live. I sent it to you. You wasn't yeah. there for that one, then. I don't think yeah, you was there yeah, when yeah. he hit her that time. No, but I want to say he, he hit her. Said, yep. He admitted to it. He apologized for it, and he knew it was wrong. No, you can't apologize for hitting on no woman like that. And keep, he keep hitting her. What you talking about? He keep hitting her. He's still hitting velvet. Okay, and that, you know what? It's not okay. And I ain't gonna lie from what, from what from what everybody else was told that it wasn't just a scratch, but if you want to call it just a scratch, he still put his hands on that girl. Absolutely. And that is not okay. You you can't you can't be out here beating on women, and you should know that. So if you was out there getting the same treatment as far as beat up, how would you feel? How would you feel getting beat up by Nubian, Dayla? How would that make you feel if he was beating you up like that? You got to walk around with black eyes and scratches all over. You know how hurtful that is? How would you feel? But do you also know that she attacked him several times? And he's defending What does that her? matter? She's Did y'all know that? Did y'all know You can restrain a woman without you putting your hands on her. You can, you can restrain a woman without putting your hands on her. Let, hear me out. Hear me out. It's not ever okay to hit a woman. Period. I'm not defending him. I'm not fucking defending him. It's not okay to hit a woman. All I'm saying is, it was it was definitely a mutual thing. She's not a fucking victim. Quit victimizing her like she needs help. She knows what the fuck she's doing, and she wants to be doing it. We can't help her. She gotta help her fucking damn self. She's attacking him. He's putting his hands right back on her. Like I don't know what they're doing now, but all I'm saying is that shit ain't right. You know what they're doing now because abuse don't just stop overnight. So you know what the, exactly what's still going on. I've been like, and I've been in situations like that. So, where you, so you weren't abused over there at all. Were you abused at all? No. Or physical, physically. At all. No. I feel like if, if you want to call it abuse, I would say, like I said before, I don't feel like they were there for me.
know, were you abused physically as well? No. Oh my God, absolutely not. So, so basically, you saying uh, Eligio was more of a good man than he was a jacked up man. So basically, what you call him is a fraud, because when he get online, he's something different. So basically, what is he a fraud? He puts everything online for y'all to see. Like, what do you mean? So if that's what he's putting on live for us to see, it can't be that sweet behind closed doors because he is off the chain live. Y'all definitely. Would you agree? Y'all definitely are. Would you agree that he's off the chain live? Do what? Or do you don't agree? You don't agree that he's off the chain. Do you know what that means? It's a slang. I don't know if you know what it means or not. Off the chain, like that's a good thing, right? Yeah, like he off the hook, like he talks about whatever, he lets whatever come off his lips. He don't think before he speak. You know, he even said that he allowed a dog to lick on his penis when he was younger because the dog liked to do it. Because the dog liked to do it. That's crazy. I that know. dog don't know what he doing. That dog did not know what he was doing. Talking about the dog liked to do it. No, you liked it. The dog did it to you. This is not somebody you, because you got to look at this. In five, ten years from now, you're going to look back like, what the heck was I thinking? What? Because, like I said, if you want to live that vegan life, that's all fine and dandy. But to agree with most of this bull crap that he's spewing, you, you can't, how you going to be weak with the, with the crowd? Nobody stands out. Nobody speaks up for what's real. All I know is what I've seen and what I've heard and what I've experienced. And I stand up for what I believe is right. I'm not saying I agree with everything. I'm not saying I understand okay. everything. I'm not saying I have it all figured out. I'm not saying I'm... I'm just saying that, um, damn, this is all I can give you, is me. Like, I can't sit here and... I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to try to portray something to you. I just want to be real and open. I want y'all to understand, like, Carbonation was a part of who I am. Like, and when I went there, I was so. Would you let your daughter stay in that situation? If your daughter grew up to that, the situation you were in with Carbonation, if your daughter went somewhere like that, would you just let her stay somewhere like that? If I thought it was something, like, yeah, I wouldn't. No, not if you thought it was. If it was a situation just like what you left, would you let your daughter? No. No? See? So no means you already know what's up. You just don't want to say what's up. But I'm not agreeing. Up. I'm not saying it's, in a, it's such a horrible thing. No, no just spoke volumes. You don't got to agree with nothing because no just spoke volumes. Just a little simple no meant a whole lot. All right. You got to just, you got to pay attention. He's supposed to have taught y'all a lot. But he got y'all in this little bubble of what everything he thinks is the way it's supposed to be. And this is the real world, world you're dealing with right now. No, so I don't agree with everything. At all. I'm just saying, he's a friend of mine, I fuck with him. And I know a lot of the shit is not true that is being said about him. Period. Because I've seen it for myself. Yeah. Y'all can write me off and say, oh, she's brainwashed, or she's dumb, or she don't see. Y'all don't see. And that's okay. All right, can I ask we, the next question? This may get personal. You don't, have to, you don't have to answer this question if you don't want to, but this may get personal. I don't care if you answer it, if you're comfortable enough to answer it. But Noob has admitted uh, on video that um, he had herpes. Is that something that you contracted while with him? No. Okay. And because we, you, know, you, you know that he put a video out there stating that, right? Yeah, I was there. Okay. Well, let me tell you what. Okay, I'll get. Let's get into it. I don't care. Like y'all, I don't want y'all to feel like I'm so against everything. Like I'm open to talk about all of it. Like when I when I first went out there, I didn't know that, right? I didn't know he had herpes, right? Uh -huh. And I got out there, you know, and we did what we did. You know, we, 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 we had sex a couple times when I first got there. And a couple days went by, maybe a week, of me being there. And I, we wake up one rising and, you know, we wake up and he's like, all upset about something. And he's like, I got to tell you something. And I'm like, what? And he's like.
mean? And he's just like, yeah, like, and then, I don't know, he didn't really, he, I guess he told me he had, he had, he's like, well, I was diagnosed with herpes, but I know I don't have it. And I'm like, this is before I really understood. And I'm like, you didn't tell me you got diagnosed with something before? Like, what? Like, okay. So we go to chief because I was pissed and I was like, I ain't fucking with you. Like, I'm, this is stupid as fuck. Like, fuck you. And I was on some shit. And so we went to chief and I was like, I don't know about this one. Like, I don't know if I can be with him. Like, uh-uh, I want to be single. And Nubian's like, please, like, like, you know, he really was fighting for me. And I'm just kind of like annoyed. And chief was the mediator. And he was, he went into saying like, look, you know, disease is all in the mind. If he doesn't believe he has it, he ain't going to have it. If you don't believe you could get it, you ain't going to catch nothing. He's like, you're okay. You're good. All disease is just an illusion. It's all man-made. It's like, we don't have to believe in that. And I do agree with that. I do agree that it's all mental and that, you know, solely based on what we believe, we can contract. I'm not worried about getting it because I don't believe in it. You know, my body physically, if I don't believe in it, because all is mental. And the real are going to understand what I'm saying. I'm not about to get all technical. I believe that. And that's what Chief does teach. And so I was like, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to get it, at least. I'm cool with that. And so that's when Nubian did the video. And Chief was like, y'all really should talk about that. Y'all really should talk about how they diagnose us with these, these diseases and they, they cause us to believe in them. And you know, that's when Nubian did the video with Serenity and they talked about how he healed them or like how that idea, uh, that idea, that knowing that all is mental, Chief shedding light on that allowed them to heal. You know, being grounded to the earth and living the way that Chief wants us to live and says we should live, or and not even just Chief, lots of people agree with this way of life. And, you know, I feel like they, that's when they made those videos, and that's what I understood, and I, and I didn't, I just, I was very forgiving, and I was just like, okay. You know, and I don't really think I thought about it ever again. Like, I, it's like, I understand. And so, when I got back to the States, um, you know, people brought that up, you know, and they kept asking me, like, oh, you got herpes. I got tested. I'm not, you know, positive or whatever for, for that, for either one of the herpes, whatever they are. Um, and it's just crazy because that made me be like, wow, I almost had a baby with this guy. I was having sex with this guy unprotected for months, and I didn't contract herpes. Maybe that has something to do with my belief system. Maybe what Chief is saying is true about disease. And that's what confirmed it for me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't contract it. I don't, no, I don't have it. Well, the thing, the thing with that particular uh, disease is it can lay dormant up in you. So just because it, uh, you, don't, you, went te you got tested as um, soon as you got back doesn't mean anything. You may have to get it's tested. Real. You may have to get. You may have to get tested in six more months. You may have to get tested in a year. And you if, just if never that's know. what it takes for people to believe in this shit that I'm saying, then I'll do that. But herpes ain't real. I got a video on my page. I want to know some real you have proof to back that. You better have proof to back that up because in a court of law, you can, people don't understand this. But you can get in a lot of trouble for spreading that type of information. You can. Just you like can go you down. Hustle, right. Yeah. You can go down. I ain't talking about just that either. If they don't nipsy hustle you, they probably can lock you up for that type of information, okay, especially worried. if you don't got no proof. They're going to want to know what proof you have to back up. There's d d diseases aren't real. They're going to they're want to know. I know. Well, I'm just saying the people who know, they know, and they live their lives accordingly, and they'll never be sick, and they can live. Uh, well, I know diseases are real because I've seen people sick. I've lost people. Yeah. So they have nothing to do with their lifestyle. They was living a good lifestyle, a vegan lifestyle, doing what they're drinking. Hell, it's children that had diseases, it's all about cancer, the mind. all type of it's all about cancer, the mind. all type. Right, so a child got control of his own mind. A baby, a baby. You telling me a seven month old baby that caught cancer got control of his own mind? It's all on the mind. But babies are dying and dropping like flies from diseases. You got to understand that. So if you are telling people that diseases are fake, if you're telling people that diseases are fake, where your proof at? Where 
Where is your proof? I'm just saying. I'm saying in a few years, you may have to get tested again for the herpes okay. virus. You may have to. And that goes for any dang body. Okay. So, I'm just saying, you can't preach that. You can get in trouble for that. You laughing about it, but it's the truth. You can look it up. You talking about how they nipsy hustle. Yeah, you can get in trouble for putting that kind of word out there with no type of proof with it. But do your chief know that? Did he know the word that he putting out can get him in trouble? Because they don't want you to know the truth. The government. What makes you think we don't know the truth? Whatever you want, I know the government. Don't want you to know the truth. Nobody can't spit the government on me. I've been doing this stuff since I was a teenager. I know all about the government. That's one thing ain't nobody gonna be able to do. You ain't gonna be able to get me to this la la land to where I, I'm still woke and I'm here and they ain't gonna do that, uh, nothing to me. I'm not worried about them. But why is this man putting fear in y'all heart on what the, our government gonna do to y'all? Y'all out of all the people in the world. Y'all all go over to this cult thinking that he's supposed to save y'all if the government coming? Because if it go down, honey, it's going to go down no. everywhere. You ain't yeah, going to be safe no. either. Nah, people are, they want to die for that shit that they stand for. You ain't going to be safe either. I don't care if you're in Mexico, Africa, you ain't going to be safe. So okay, We don't have to see eye to eye. We can have different beliefs. Yeah, we, we, we don't have to. I, I ain't saying you got to see it the way I see it, but I know, yeah. I know all about the government. I don't too. want this to turn into bash me and judge me and bully me. Nobody like, ain't bashing you. I'm here to answer y'all's questions. Like, I really got to go. Like, this this has got to come to an end. So if you have any more questions, let's just do it. Like, All right, let's. we got 12 questions for you. Let's get it. I ain't going to put them up on the screen. I'm going to just read them because I don't know how to get them down. They said, if herpes isn't real, then explain outbreaks, Pee Wee. People believe they have herpes. And it manifests into a physical, in physical form, it manifests. Because reality, we, we create our reality with our thoughts. Okay, let's go to the next question. That's as simple as I can put it right now. I'll be posting a lot on my page. Y'all just gotta just come follow me because I it'll all be on there. They said, "How he have an outbreak if, if y'all believe in diseases? How did he? You know what? That was a good ass question. That's a good ass that question. That everything she just said about it diseases, right? It. Just because I did. Because how he have an outbreak if that's what's the dance? So he ain't debunked shit. He, out, he had the outbreak because he didn't believe. He didn't, that's why Nature Boy made, said, hey, go do that video. Speak your truth and truly take in the knowledge of what I'm saying. And Nubian went and he made a video and he, and he understood what she was saying. And he, he reevaluated his mind, his thoughts. His, Hold on. To okay, go ahead. not believe in that. And guess what? He, he never had another outbreak is when I was there. Okay, how do you feel about the people um, that confess to all the um, stuff that did occur in carbonation? It's not about confessing. It's about... No, how do, you feel, how do you feel? No, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't gonna get all into details. Remember, how do you feel about them confessing what, you know, you say um, that's well, the truth. some things that they confess? Like, I'll, I'll talk about it. I told you. We said that the last live. What? You just said it too. That you did see Velvet with um, okay, what else? A black eye. What do you mean, what else? That what ain't enough? They, just the beauty. The abuse of a woman ain't enough? No, no, no. I'm just saying, what else do they confess to? Listen. Guess me how I feel about uh, it. Well, let, wait, 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 wait. Let's stick, let's stick to this abuse first. Abuse of a woman ain't enough. I'm not here to do this with you. I'm here to what you ask me personal questions about my experience. These are questions. The you know, you're getting offended and you don't want to answer. What are you talking about? You don't want to answer the personal questions. Well, then what are you doing it for? This ain't the bash you. We are asking simple questions that you are getting offended. You don't want to answer them. They're simple questions. I already spoke on this. Why are we? What okay, well, well, what about the rape then? And only eating once a day. 
the rate. What rate? Only eating once a day. What do you mean? Most of them admitted. Look, most of these guys in carbonation admitted to touching their siblings. What do you feel about that? I put a video out that I was touched as a little kid. Does that make who touched me just like... What about Tori? Yeah, because he told Tori her being raped was her fault. What about that? Okay. This is obviously about Nature Boy, not me. This is obviously... It's, it's supposed to be about the whole thing. It shouldn't just be about you. Your experience is him, right? So you don't want to do, do the questions. interview about carbonation at all. The way that you're directing your questions is not genuine. I'm not, this, that's just the way I am. I'm not trying to be not genuine. That's not just me. Genuine. But you the one catching the attitude. I wouldn't be like this if you didn't catch no attitude. You, you got offended. Everybody in here see that right now. It's written all over your face. Because I am offended. This is bullshit. Like, y'all can't just do this shit. Like, like, I'm, I'm asking you genuine questions. But you're getting mad at it. You making this uncomfortable for yourself. Because you don't want to answer certain questions. I, I mean, what the fuck do you want me to say? That I just I'm want okay you to answer that the I, that I agree that I agree that with every little thing that he does, I already said I don't agree with everything that he says and does. No, you're trying to revert back to that. I want you to answer the question. Okay. When he said that it's her fault she got raped? All of that, yeah. How do you feel about that? Just hear saying that, that's not right. But do you have the whole story of what he said to her? Does she, did she say that? They did it on live. Okay. So I'm just asking you, I don't care about the whole story. I'm asking you, since you know them all, how do you feel about it? How do you feel? And I don't see nothing wrong with that question. I don't know why I you see, get defended. I see, I see, because I have hundreds of people talking at me and don't worry about the comments. Just, just answer my uh, questions. That's all you need to focus on is the questions I'm asking. All right. All right. So all I'm saying is when he said it was her fault, I don't, I don't know why he said that. I didn't see that video. I didn't hear his, the whole conversation. So I don't have anything to say about that. Okay. Let's see. Have you ever slept with Elysio before? No. Okay, y'all never was together? No. Um, they said, um, did you get back to your normal life? Do you have a job? Um, yes. Okay. I work for myself. They said, would you be okay if a child molester was accepted into carbonation? A child molester? Yeah. Would you be okay? Can you, can you elaborate? Can you give me more? Because y'all are going to use my hands against me. No, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, well, this is just a general question that they want to know. Here. Oh, you have to know the person? Okay. And their situation and all the details before I could just say. Hold on. So, uh, is the is the do Elysio act the same on camera as he do off of camera? Yeah, and that's why I fuck with him the most because he's always been real and transparent and like that's how I've seen it. That's why it's hard to believe a lot of shit being said too. Next question is they. sleep that's all i know okay i'm really giving to y'all true and real like this is all i can give you is the truth like there's nothing to what what what, what is what good does it do for me to like not say something or like you know what i'm saying like i don't i already said a lot of things like that i don't like or that i don't agree with so uh, don't someone in the thing said that. you lied they said they spoke with you privately and that you lied about what happened to you I and I want to give you a chance. 
Yeah, I don't want to put it out there yet, but I want to give you a chance to figure out what did you talk to somebody about that was personal, and do you remember what that uh, conversation was about? No, I need details. I need details. Don't worry about shit. All right, so uh, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And they want to know why you're lying about what really happened. No, I'm not going to speak on that. Because people want to make it into okay. whatever they're going to make it into. Okay, so you are admitting that something else happened and that you're not telling us the full No, I'm not. See, I'm about to get off this live because now y'all are trying to bully me. Now you are trying to take everything. There's nothing but trolls in this room. None of my people are in this Why room. Why are you worried about the trolls? You need to wor just I'm focus on what I'm asking you. Asking you're too worried about question. them and not worried about what I'm... You're getting distracted by them and you're trying no, to take no, no, your I'm anger not. out I'm and talking lie. about what you're talking about and whatever, whoever's asking questions. I'm... I'm... Y'all really have no boundaries. Like, like, facts. Like, if, if... Whatever the fuck it is, I don't have to share that with y'all, number one. But number two, why lie? Number three... I just want to know, this I just want to know, you don't this is why are you getting defensive you over some questions? This is that's not an attack, listen, I'm, I'm asking these questions that they're putting up, I don't feel like that's an attack, I feel like if you did talk to somebody in person, See, this is that's not, on you, not, but now that you're here, if you want to clear the air, you, what are you getting mad for, but like, I either said no, it or I'm I didn't. clear the air, but that's not what y'all are doing, y'all are genuinely so what are we doing to if we clear the air? trying to understand. Y'all want to call me a liar. Y'all want to say I'm this and that. I'm not doing this shit with y'all. Y'all ain't taking my fucking energy. I know my truth, and I'm going to speak truth, and that's going to be that. And I'm going to speak on what I what I feel like I should speak on and what I shouldn't speak on. And that's my my choice. Y'all are trying to bully me. Y'all are really trying to take things that I say and do exactly what you do to Chief to me. And I'm not doing that shit. That's no, why I don't fuck no, with that's not, that's, that's not what we're trying to do. So... Just relax and pay attention to what I'm... I'm not even reading the comments. That's crazy that you're sitting here reading no, I'm the not. comments. I'm reading I questions. I'm reading the questions, but I just can't do it the other way because my phone ain't acting right right now. So I'm reading I'm questions that's being asked to you. And you're getting offensive over some questions. That speaks volumes. And you talking about you out because right, well, you're no, uncomfortable with the questions that's being asked. Question, to answer your question, no, there's nothing I want to clear up. Next question. Okay, so you done with that question? Sheesh. Damn, I, just listen. Shit. I mean, I feel like you're not on my side. Like, I feel like you really try to be. At the end of the me. day, well, you still supporting carbonation, and we all want to be on your side, but if you're going to give us attitude, you ain't even trying to help us figure you out. We can't take nobody's side. Are y'all We can't do that. Y'all aren't really. We can't do that, but if you willing, if you willing to, you know, give us your truth. And we're not even trying to dig that out of you. That's the sad part about it. You, but you're getting real offensive. Because, okay, you know, some of these questions is a little bit too much and you can't handle it. Just admit it. I can't handle these questions that's being asked. No, okay, okay. Well, let's just see how it goes from here. Don't try to take it out on everybody because you're upset at the questions that's being asked. Don't read the comments if they're offending you. If you say I'm not on your side, if you say I'm not on your side, but you want the people on your side, you got to... A dis disattach yourself from no, 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 the people no, that's not, not about, really for you. This is not about anybody being on my side. Well, you just said that. No, I'm, what I'm saying is people are going to take it for what they take it. You know what I'm saying? All I want to do is speak my truth and it be understood by whoever's going to understand it. But a lot of people aren't going to understand me. You know what I'm saying? They're going to think they know some shit. That's fine. Like, all I can sit here and say the truth in my experience. It doesn't have to be this, like, let's just go through every little thing that we don't like about Nature Boy and get her to, like, say things like that. I'm not with that shit. Like, I see what y'all are doing, and I'm, I just don't want to okay, be my question, my question is, do you, do you really feel in your heart that that's what the people are doing? Out there. If he wasn't, you know, seeking attention like he was, maybe no one would, would have ever knew. So you're going to blame his mistakes on the whole world that's against him. People have their beliefs. Just like Carbonation believes, you know, diseases aren't real and living in tune and all that, people have their beliefs as well. And you guys are angry at the wrong people. Y'all angry at the people...
that's really writing for y'all. But y'all so brainwashed, I got to go back to that, that y'all can't even realize that it may seem like we get a tough love, but what's the difference when you just stated that while you was there, they made you feel unwanted? You see what I'm saying? They supposed yes. to make you feel good because they made you, he made people separate themselves from their families. And it's full proof. That's, that's just what he does. Okay. Your family is no longer your family once you're in carbonation. So he I'm couldn't give you that love. Go back. He couldn't, he couldn't give I'm you that same love that. that your mother could give you, your father, your, your daughter, even your baby's father. Elysio or no one over there because Elysio is dealing with a lot of mental issues and he hasn't taken care of them. He doesn't even want to. He just preached these things because it, it's just a way of living for him right now. In a few years, carbonation probably won't exist because of the things he done put out there. Because of the things he put out there. He even put y'all out there. From what I've seen, and all I'm saying is from what I see and what I've known to be him, I know his heart, mm -hmm. and I know a lot of things that he's that are being said about him are not true, because I've seen them unfold, um, mm -hmm. and I've, I, I'm just saying, that's all I'm, like, you want to get into, like, a lot, I don't really know what to say about a lot of things, because, number one, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I'm not saying he's, like, Flawless. I'm not saying everything he does is right, and I condone everything that's been going on. And I'm not saying that I had the best experience or the worst experience. I just want to talk about me and my experience. I'm not sitting here trying to. Be so you did. You, you I gave you your life. chance, and I was quiet the whole time. You talked about your experience to the point you. Um, I didn't. I thought you because you talked about it. nation all together as a whole yeah okay so i did let you talk about your experience from what i thought i just don't like my fucking what i say getting misconstrued i don't want you that's what we i want to feel understood that's and i'm not feeling understood i want you to feel understood but in the same sense the questions that i'm asking are very simple so it's just okay. the way you are gonna deliver it is how people gonna take it including myself so, let's so if I ask you the question. question that we went to earlier that you never wanted to answer because you like, no, I don't. Okay. Worry. I'll try to be more no, open no about it. I'll try to be more open. Let's. What is it? You you shutting down. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to trust us, so you got this wall up already. Yeah. Cause I don't. Why the fuck would I trust somebody who took my video and fucking try to threaten, people threaten my life every day. People fucking... Well, I don't want your life us. to be threatened. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you, but I'm just saying people threaten my life. People threaten to take my kid from me. People, and it, it, and it makes me not want to talk. It makes me not want to share my experience. Like, that shit ain't cool. Like, no, I don't feel comfortable. No, I don't trust nobody. The fuck? Period. And I, I totally that's what get it. it. That, that's why I'm telling you, like, this side, we can't be a little, you know, rough around the edges, but it's all love. And our main purpose is spreading awareness so other people don't join the call. And also, in every way, shape, and form, try to help prior members that want to get away from that type of lifestyle. Because we don't want you to end up being back in that type of situation. I don't want you to join another cult, you know? I want you to uh, be there for your child. Me, and I, I want you to get that pollution out of your mind. Like, me, our job is not done until each and every last one of y'all understand where we're coming from and wake up out this trance. Because I'm going to oh, tell you sorry. something. Um, voodoo and stuff, spells, is real. And it could be some type of spell that he has over each and every last one of y'all. So you really need prayer, and that's why you asked me why did I call um, Eliana Velvet, is because Velvet is her name. You know what I mean? So I, I, I want to know you by that. The name that your parents gave you, whoever named you, that's what I want to know you by. I want to know the real you. I don't want to know the you of 
carbonate. That ain't all we want to know about you. We want to know you too. We want to know you too. But we also want to know, you know, what you know as well. Because it's only right. You could be saving lives and changing lives too. You could be huge. You could be big. You could save people. And that's bigger than anything. That's why I'm on this camera. Them heaven gates you want to get to, them heaven gates you so dreaming to get to, I'm telling you, you got to think with your heart. Because sometimes thinking with that mind that gets you the first trip to hell. Stop thinking with your mind and start thinking right, with so your heart. I'm going to take what you just said. I'm gonna, I, I, I appreciate that. And I'm going to take that into these other questions you have for me. Okay. Let's go. I hope she is receiving it. I think she is. I think it's just taking time. Um, she's not going to answer that question. Just ask it. They wants to know who has custody of your uh, daughter. Damn, I'm not going to answer that. You already knew you weren't going to answer that question. <laughs> but it was worth a try. They said, why do the women get passed back and forth so much? I was the only one, believe it or not, I don't give a fuck if y'all believe me or not, straight up. I was the one person. And it's crazy because when me and Nubian, like, when we, uh, like, split, Chief tried to set me up with, uh, uh with Pice. And I'm like, I was, like, laughing. I was like, you're kidding, right? You're just gonna pawn me off on him? And she's like, no, nah, I think that y'all would be really good together, like, this and that. And I was like, I was at the point where I was, I was, that was another time where I wanted to leave, like, or Chief was like, th this was this, okay, rewind, rewind, so, this was right before I found out I was pregnant, the second time I had went to carbonation, right, uh -huh. I, I, uh, you know, he was, he, me and Nubian, we had just kind of split, like, one night Nubian was just like, I feel like, we were not meant to be. And so Chief was like, all right, we're going to separate y'all again. Like, okay. So me and him were on our own shit. But one day, and I'm, I'm hurt. I'm like, yo, literally the night before Nubian cut it off with me, he told he was telling me how much he loved me. He was telling me how much he understood me and he appreciated me and he wanted to be there. And we had this, like, heart-to-heart, -heart, me and Nubian, in the tent. And then the next day, you know, Nubian just tells me, like, you know, I'm not really feeling this like I don't think that this is for me and I think that we should just be apart and and you know what like I have to, I had to accept that our relationship was not it like it was not it like me and him like I said before were more friends and we had a lot of issues in our relationship which a lot of people know about um but you know so anyway the next day uh he randomly just tells me like I'm done and then then I was, I was at a point where I couldn't, I couldn't, I wasn't okay. Like, I was at a point where I was like, damn, I, I can't be here anymore. Like, how am I going to be here when he just hurt me like that? And I want to be with him so bad. I don't know what I did. Like, I, I can't accept it. I was just in such a hurt place. And like I told you before, they would always say, oh, your energy's off. Your energy's off. And, I'll, and so they could feel me. They could feel that my energy was off. They could feel all the emotions I was feeling and stuff. And so they kept pounding me for it. Like, you need to, you need to, uh, get better. Like, or you're going to have to leave because you can't, you can't permeate that energy here. Like, it's either you're going to accept it and get over it and grow or in a day or you're going to get out. And I'm like, what? Okay. And once again, no one really there. So, uh, yeah, Serenity, she's in the bed, right? She's pregnant. She's still pregnant. She's in the bed. And, you know, we slept in the house that night because it was storming really bad, I think. And we slept in the house that night. Everyone has their sleeping bags all over the floor, and there's no room for me. And I'm like, shit, I can't. Where am I going to put my, my blankets and shit? Where am I going to sleep? So I'm looking around, and I'm like, fuck, there's nowhere. There's no room. So I got to get in the bed with Serenity. And, um, so, and I got in the bed next to Serenity. She woke up in the middle of the night throwing up, like, barfing everywhere, like, so much, feel good at all, and so, 
I guess Eliana wakes up. So, somebody woke up and was helping her. She, uh, I don't know. Some one of the women woke up and was helping her in the bathroom, and I'm in the bed like, what the fuck? What's going on? You know, she, I hope she's okay. And then, you know, she, she, uh, I start hearing they're saying, oh, she's in the bed with you. Like my energy, right? Me going through what I was going through, like my energy affected her to a point where she's deathly ill in the fucking bathroom. And that's where I was just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm not even tripping like y'all think I'm tripping. Like, yeah, I love Newbie and I wanted to be with him and I'm hurt, but I'm tough. Like, I can handle it. Like, I've been through shit in my life. Like, I'm not so distressed to the point where I'm permeating this awful energy to your force field to making her to to the point of making her sick. And they tried to put that off on me. And so I could hear everybody talking about me and they're like, oh yeah, it has to be her energy. Like it's so off. Like this is why Serenity's sick. Like why would she get in the bed with her knowing that she feels like that? It was really crazy and I, that's something that I could say that was fucked up. Definitely. Um, because it, and, and I was so, I, that, I was so under the spell to where I was like, maybe they're right. Maybe I am, maybe I am fucked up. Like, maybe I really am feeling shit that I'm not allowing myself to feel. I'm just suppressing all my shit and, and it's, it's, it, they can feel it. And I believe that. But when I left and I really thought about these things that happened to me when I was there, I'm like, the fuck kind of shit is that? Like, you don't just do that. What do you mean? Like, I'm the reason she's throwing up, really? Like, because I'm in the bed with her, and my energy is just taking over her? Like, what? Like, so that was really lame, you know? Uh, but the whole point of that um, is just to say, what was the whole point of that? What was the question? Okay. Bring me back. To talking about serenity? Oh, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, 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 hold on, I lost that thought. What was the question that you asked me? Um, let me see. I don't even remember. Fuck. Come on, anybody. Uh, on, let me, let's go to the next question. They said, um... That was a point said, of what I was no, trying to say, man. Let, let's just go... Question. They said, do you know if I'm recording anything um, sexual? Oh, you were talking about the women being passed around. That's what she was talking about. The oh, that's around. what I was going to say. Okay, that's what I was saying. So the women got passed around that one night. You know, I mm. Nubian told me it was over. I'm sleeping in the bed with Serenity. She gets sick. They blame it on me and shit. And then the next day... You know, they're like, yo, they, Chief's like on the verge of telling me to go home, like leave. Because he thinks my energy's just so off and I can't handle what I'm going through. So I need to go deal with my shit somewhere else, right? And so the next day, we get in the vans and we're going to get our passports renewed. And we get in the vans, we take the trip. New van and Joy are in this van. And I'm in this van with some other people. But Chief and Nubian and Joy and Nana and Aya and Tron and all them are in one van. I'm in another van with like Solar, Pice and fucking Pure and shit. And um, Serenity and Rambo, I think. And so, um, so anyway, when we, we stop, right, we're on the road. We're going all the way to the border to get our shit renewed. And we stop at this restaurant. We're going to get some beans and rice and shit, you know, and eat. List, mind you, this is right after the night Serenity got sick, right after Nubian broke my fucking heart. Like, you know, I'm like stressing and I think I'm pregnant at the same time. You know what I mean? I'm like, what? And then he's threatening to send me home and I'm like, I don't want to leave. And I'm going through a lot, you know. Nubian hops out the van holding Joy's hand. Wow. And I'm like, what? This is happening too fast. Like, this is just all happening way too fast. You know, and I'm tripping. I'm we like, got 27 seconds for later. But, okay, so anyway, yeah, I was never passed around, but he did, after that, we sat at that table at the restaurant, and he tried to hook me up with Pice, and I'm like, what the fuck makes you think I want to be with Pice when I'm dealing with this? And he's like, well, you need to get over this, or you can go home, so, it's crazy, I think that, I don't know, I don't know what's up with the women being passed around, but I, I never was passed around, because I, didn't, I did not accept that shit, that's not me, that's not who I am, but.
Oh boy. Alright, I'm back. One more time for the one more time, y'all.